what I think about it, I think it's stupid. I think it's super dumb. I feel like I feel like it's just like um like I said, like food. There's there's a uh, production line food. It's usually disgusting. There's really no heart into it. Uh, but if you go to a nice curated restaurant where someone is classically trained and they have a vision for what they want your palate to taste, it's 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 a similar thing, right? Like my style of tattooing, I I design for the body, right? So if I were to tattoo you or anyone, I would. I would consider their body shape and I would consider the flow of their body. And then I would consider what they wanted and what needs to be in there and what needs to be taken out. Right. And I just don't know on a large scale, uh, if a machine is going to be able to consider all of the factors that are involved with like, let's say like a sleeve or a back piece or, you know, cause there's so many variables. I don't know. This, there's so much to be considered. It's so new. Uh, I would assume even if they're like even further ahead than I think, I think they still have a long way to go. I do think there will be a market for it. I think that people like novelty things. If they break down, if these machines break down, right? And they say that they've like got that thousands of them out. Is there going to be like a specific niche of person that like is a tattoo machine repairman like and how do you get a hold of him what's his availability like it's like sorry we have to cancel all these appointments we have because the tattoo repairman is didn't show up you know what i mean like it's like i don't know i don't know how realistic it is you know what i mean at least at least to the level of like taking over 